Bay Area's news station. This is the Crawl 4 Morning News. And we'll be right back as the Crawl 4 Morning News continues coming up after the break. An update on weather and traffic. And uh, we'll chat with our uh, legal expert, Ivan Gold, about some of the legal issues in the news. 9.50 is the time right now. And we will be back with... Are we going to do our legal Yeah, segment? we're going to do I, We got right. Ivan here we got right a now. a couple of things, Ivan, and just yes. a couple of minutes to talk about them. So first, okay. let's do the uh, case about the chili uh, or the, uh, the beef in Taco yes. Bell. And where is the beef? Is it enough beef? They're suing in California federal court saying it's it's not beefy enough the percentages Look, aren't there. I think this case is just a publicity ploy it's a fee generating mechanism for this law firm okay a class action suit the attorneys make a lot of money come on this is gonna backfire Taco Bell is gonna come out the best of this they look good thank yeah, you this for is today. there was no statistical analysis by this law firm to specifically point to the fact that this beef was under any sort of legitimate legal amount they never said anything they just said it's under the requirements they never gave Specifics. Well, I believe they said the USDA says 40 percent, and they said Taco Bell's 36 percent, and they said it has a lot of sawdust and fillers. But they and junk. gave no statistics. They just said that. It's just yeah. hearsay. If you're suing a Taco Bell, you better have your ducks in a row lined up. They didn't do that. I think this is just a way to generate. It's almost an extortion case against Taco Bell. I hope Taco Bell wins it. What about false advertising? Is this false advertising in Taco uh, Bell's case? Look, if you're buying a New York steak, if you think you're getting a New York steak and you're getting a hot dog, okay, that's clear. That's right. okay. Then you have a problem. That's not the case here. They didn't intentionally, maliciously advertise something that they didn't serve. This is a taco. Taco Bell, this case is going to get thrown out. We should point out Taco Bell a little manipulative in their ads as well, and I love Taco Bell, but they're saying 88% meat. That's by weight. Oh. Saw, what did they, I don't say sawdust is in there, but the fillers weigh a lot less than the meat does, oh. so the numbers are somewhere in the okay, middle. Okay, in between, yeah. but to say a class action lawsuit, yes. and we're not, in fact, selling beef, we're selling something else, right. that's misleading, too. This is just a money-making thing. By the okay, how about the kid, 15 years old, he's on the golf team, he's a good player, he's at the driving range in Oregon, yes. and he hits a pole that's on the driving range, yes. it ricochets, his own ball hurts him and hits him in the eye. Okay, the viewers need to understand this, there are a lot of avid golfers out there, I've spent thousands of hours on a driving range, Dara, you've spent hours on the driving range, look, you got to be careful, clearly you have to be safe in any recreational sport you play, however, the driving range has some liability, beginners, intermediate, advanced players go to a driving range range there was no reason why a ball should ricochet off of a, a component a part a wall of the driving range and come back and hit you in the eye that is definitely a problem the driving range bears some responsibility bears some liability this young man might be blind and a 15 year old blind into one eye for the rest of his life because he unintentionally hit a bad shot and the ball bang came but right golfing back is him. risky balls can go people know that when it's you are a, a, when you are a, a guest when you are a paid customer at a facility, okay, you, at that point, if you hit a bad shot and the ball comes back and ricochets, that's a lot different than me turning around and, and slugging someone in the eye with a club or if I intentionally turn around and hit the ball at somebody else in a prank or a game. No, this young boy was practicing the game of golf. He wanted to learn the game. He had an errant shot and the golf, the driving range was set up in a way that a ball could ricochet back. And a golf ball is a, could be a deadly weapon. Hmm. There should be padding at the range. There should be all sorts of safety precautions taken. This should never, never, never happen. And that could be a multi-million dollar case against that driving range. Again, would you trade a couple million dollars to lose sight of your eye? Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, thank you, Ivan. We'll catch you okay. next Friday, and we'll be right back as the Crawl 4 Morning News continues.